Hello everybody, Captain Curb here, and welcome back to another Yoshi Engine tutorial. Uh, basically, I've been getting a lot of requests for a note tutorial, so we're going to do that today, and we're going to specifically be doing that with an Instakill note. Uh, you can take the majority of the knowledge gained from this tutorial and convert it into your own, which is really great. So, to start off, we're going to go on to whatever mod you're going to want to use it on. You're going to want to create a new... F oh, wait, sorry. I already have the folder open here. And you're going to want to... Most of original mods wouldn't come with a folder. You're going to want to make a notes folder. And make sure it's specifically called notes. Next, you go into that folder. And let's create a new... Let's create a new HX file. We're going to call it... Uh, kill note dot hx and yes and we're going to open that up in our visual studio editor pop open here all right so now once we're over here we're going to want to take some code from the blamed note that i usually use so i go on a blamed hx and as you can see all of this here and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to highlight all of that copy it, go over to your kill note, paste it. This is your like general note thing. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find whatever note skin you're going to be using. So if we go back to our entire screen here, we can head to images where we will find that I have the blam notes here. I will use these. But if you're using custom notes, you might want to take a look at the XML and just make sure that everything lines up with this. This is very important because as you can see here, your add by prefixes, these this is your actual like notes itself. You never want to change any of this because you're gonna have like your cases, these are your different note cases, and you're just gonna want to change this for if you are changing it. Uh, and don't forget as well that uh, purple is is spelt wrong in the hold pieces. I <laughs> uh, love FNF. Um but pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to now that you have all of that. And I'm just going to use the default blam notes for mine since I don't really want to change it and download a new note skin. Is we're going to go down and we're going to add a function called on player hit. Let me just ensure that that is the correct thing to Call it. Hold on. Uh, shoot. Where is it? Make you find. <coughs> Sorry about this. Give me a second. Let the. Oh, that's just the box. Uh, scripting. Script. There we go. Um, sorry about this guys, just give me a hot second here while I go find, there it is. Alright, wiki, let's go on to script documentation, and like I said, it's always good to have this, because as you can see, there it is, on dad hit there, and we're going to want to add in the parameter of being a note, which is the note that we are using. So, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change our playstate.health, can't spell today apparently is equal to or sorry minus equals uh, let's go with three usually it only takes like one to uh, like essentially boyfriend's health goes from zero to one and we're just gonna basically subtract three to ensure that he does next thing that you're gonna want to do open up your file folder and go on to your Yoshi crafter engine open that up now my other one might show up and that's fine. Just wait for that to load up here. And go out to our testing folder. Go on to our song here. And what we're gonna do once we get into the song is we're gonna do as follows. It would appear as if the strum lines have disappeared. 
Move on. Let me take a look at the scripts. Oh, I know why. <laughs> uh, we need to pop that out. Pop that out, and yeah, that should be fine. All right. So next thing that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to go to the notes tab here, and we're gonna. Oh, sorry. Let me gotta go to the actual issue here. There we go. And you're gonna want to click add note type. Once you click that, you're gonna see your thing comes up. You can actually click in your notes, and you can see now that if I click testing, it shows kill note. Click that. Then you have to click it. And then place it wherever you want. Now, since this guy's on bot play, I should just be able to kill a boyfriend right away. So we'll do that. Click enter. Shermline's still not there, but as you can see, he died. Uh, so it works. It works is the point. I don't know why the Shermline <laughs> disappeared. And yet here we are. Uh, I might just remove all of the mod traits quickly here. Actually, hold on. There we go. So now, as you can see, Strumline's back, and and there we go. We've got our kill note, and the bot hits it, which is fine. However, you're probably gonna want to fix that, right? Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna want to fix that. So, I'm just gonna do 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 on over here briefly. And run over. To. Uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. That, here we go. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add on it at the top of your script. So if we go back to our coding, you're going to want to add the following line. Note dot hit on bot play is equal to false. Click save. And now if we go back and we restart the song, our, our note should no longer be hit. Oh, and it just never did for some reason. Hold on. Sometimes you just have to replace it. Uh, I think this happens when the note actually changes, which is fine. Oh, shoot, that's not even... Hold on. Uh, what's going on? I might have screwed up. Hold on. Um. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Just hold on a second. And sometimes you have to like debug this stuff. Sometimes you gotta figure this out. So let's add it into the create function. Usually this is what I do. Just kind of go through. And we'll go back to the issue engine. Let's start the song. All right. Three, two, one, go. There we go. So now as you can see, it also damages boyfriend when he misses it, which is something that we don't want happening. So what we can also do on top of this is we can add a function on miss. With obviously a parameter being the note. Making sure my documents are correct. And this is something that I, I don't have a whole lot of experience with. I don't do a lot of notes. So <laughs> apologies if this is a uh, little bit little bit scuffed. These tutorials are pretty scuffed, but you know, we're, we're working with it. I'm sure it's on this. And we're just going to want this to actually return false. Because when it returns false, it'll essentially tell the game, hey, don't do damage. And if we restart our song... Oh, shoot. It's not over. And boom. As you can see, we now have a functioning insta-kill note. Very simple, very smooth, 
and it's super easy to do and it's easy to chart you have it all in the Yoshi engine chart editor which you can obviously do now before I end this tutorial I want to show you guys something else that I've learned about the chart editor that is especially useful let's say that you're charting a song and you want to like play it from a certain point to ensure that your charting is correct what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find that spot and down here there's actually a button called play here now where if you click it you can play from that spot and the song automatically shows up and everything already works it's beautiful and every, all your events all your notes everything works so essentially just fast forwards you in the song which is great so I'm gonna close that out and I will end off this tutorial now once again thank you all for watching thank you all for subscribing to the channel I know we just hit 360 it's so so exciting I'm hoping to vary my content more as I continue to make videos and looking into more like uh, some animation style stuff I've got I've got some stuff that I'm kind of working on that I'll hint at later um, I just kind of wanted to take the time to say thank you guys for all the support you've given me it's been a little bit rough as of lately especially on my FNF side but uh, I, I really do appreciate it and finally <laughs> since I know I know I know it's a tutorial at all but I, I have to do a little bit of self plugging I did just finish a demo for a mod with my team it's the FNF fun sized CEO mod it's just a nice little demo it's a really great mod and I love it so much and many people have not figured out that you have to type in the letters D E D into the main menu screen in order to unlock a secret song. So there's actually seven songs in the demo and it's a really awesome demo and I think you should all go and check it out. And it was made with some of my custom scripts that I've used in these tutorials. So with that, I thank you all again and don't forget to like and subscribe, all that jazz, you know, and until next time. See you guys.